honestly, we know who we are. You know, identifying your identity as a unit is the most important. And once you do that, nobody can really take that away from you. And, you know, with the guys in the locker room, especially this year, the brotherhood is as strong as it's ever been in my five years here at least. Um, and so just going in after, you know, what we've been through, everything that we've been through together, um, you know, when it work out, games, et cetera, et cetera, it's hard to break up a group like that or, you know, find some type of division just because of who we are as a group. So it's not it's not too difficult to keep the guys together. You guys work all year for 12, 13 games, your last one in Beaver Stadium. Are we thinking about it? Yeah, thinking about it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know. Uh, this place has given me a lot of special memories, so... Um, I'm just very thankful, thankful for, you know, the fans, thanks for you guys. Um, you know, since I've been since I've been here, since I committed here in January of like 2019, um, you know, everybody's been tremendous. Everybody's been, you know, supportive and and their picture of me has always been a picture of growth. They've always wanted to see me grow, not only as a player, but as a man. So I just appreciate everybody around me that's come in and out of the building. Uh, you know, from you guys to, you know, the workers that help clean up the locker rooms, et cetera, et cetera. You know, everybody's everybody's been amazing since I've been here, and I appreciate y'all. How I'm sorry, Devon. How how emotional is this going to be for guys who have been around for a while? Uh, you know, it's going to be a bittersweet moment. You know, everybody's everybody's kind of excited. You know, a little bit scared, a little bit nervous to move on to that next chapter. But you know, also so so appreciative. Like I just said. Um, you know, this this place means a lot to a lot of people and has done a lot for a lot of people. So it's just going to be one of those bittersweet moments. You've uh, you've emerged as a starter here. What has that meant to you, uh, knowing that it's not always been easy for you? You had a fight for, for playing time throughout your career. Um, you know, when you guys, when you have a room full of such talented people, that's, you know, that's going to be a given. You know, it's competition. Week in, week out, every single year, you know, with guys like Hakeem Beam and Zane Durant, Koziah Izzard, you know, the list goes on, JJ Vandenberg, you know, um, it's just, that's just naturally how it's going to be, especially when you're talking about the number one defense in the country. It's going to be competition week in and week out. So if that's what it takes for us to get there, Two that's more what it minutes, is. guys. But what's your level of pride having, having gotten to the top of the depth chart there? Uh, you know, it's amazing. You know, you work so hard for something and to, to achieve that goal is, is tremendous. There's no feeling like it. So. What, what, what would it mean to get a win on Saturday, especially for the seniors? Oh, it would mean everything, especially my senior year. I lost my senior game. So, but this this game means a lot. You know, I want to go out, you know, I came in, you know, winning. So it means a lot. You talked a lot about your leadership abilities. Is that something that's developed over your time here? Have you always sort of been like that? No, 100%. You know, you got guys like P.J. Mustafford, Jair Brown, you know, um, Sean Clifford. The the list goes on. You know, you have so many tremendous leaders in front of you. You want to be able to step into that role and become that type of leader for the guys around you, Um, especially when you have a program such as ours. Becoming that type of guy, becoming that type of leader is just so... It's, it's, it's an honor position, you know. It, it, it's something that's that should be earned and not given. And I and I feel like in my time here, you know, what I've done, I feel like I've earned it. And that's a that's a tremendous responsibility that I'm willing to take on. So that's, I just I appreciate it every day. You named a few guys. Is there one guy in particular that you looked up to? Uh, you know, don't tell him this, but probably PJ. You know, uh, that's been my brother for the longest time. I've known him since I was like 14. So like, just seeing his growth and who he's became as soon as he came here. Last question, uh, guys. It, it's tremendous, and and I appreciate him every day for it, just because he's been able to give me that type of perspective, like what it takes, what 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 good leadership looks like, you know. And that's and that's that's special for anybody, you know. That's that's a that's a blessing for anybody that's looking to move on to into that role as a leader. When you think about your time here, what are you most proud of? Um, becoming a leader of men. You know, you got so many amazing people around here. So to be looked at as a leader amongst them is just a gift, and I appreciate it. So, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Devon. Yeah.